My name is Martha Lofgren. Um, my relationship with the Cimarolis arose out of my employment at the city of Folsom. They were an amazing couple, and, and the passing of both of them is a loss. Neva was a driving force behind many, many positive changes in our community. She didn't like recognition. She didn't seek out recognition. She just did what she did because it's who she was. He was more behind the scenes. You know, you didn't, you didn't hear from Sevi, but I have no doubt music brought both of them a lot of pleasure. They didn't get involved in only one facet of community life. Neva was an influencer in Folsom politics and one of the primary influencers in how things happened in a really amazing city. You would normally say it would be wonderful to have this happen while they're alive. She probably would have refused and so it can only happen now. I hope Neva and Sevi are watching down and smiling on us because it's so deserving. I'm Marilee Lewis Engel. I'm the retired president of Gethsemane River College. This campus is one of the most diverse campuses in the country. And many of the students that I've supported have been from diverse backgrounds. So for me, that's really important. Many of them are first generation. Many of them never had anybody in, a, in anywhere in their family who ever went to college. So it's a real opportunity for a student. You know, you can give money for things, um, but I've always wanted to put my money into people. Basically, I see it as a chance for the student to see that somebody else believes in them. And even if they don't know who I am, there's somebody out there who cares. My name is Carol Forbes Spurgeon and I became involved in the campus when I decided to come and investigate what the archives might have about my parents. But I identified Sacramento City College as a pivotal point uh, in my parents' lives and I wish to honor my parents. In memory of George S. and Jean Turpin Forbes, Sacramento City alumni, 1932, It's very exciting to me. It, it feels very worthwhile. And I think my parents would love it. My parents were great believers in education, education for everyone. When I see these lively students of all different backgrounds on the campus, it just does my heart, makes my heart sing. Look at that. Wow, that looks beautiful. They're lovely. I'm Molly Evangelisti. And I'm Fred Evangelisti. This is the new culinary facility and it's been open since January and I'm happy to say that I was helpful in raising money to make this a reality. We're going to look for you on Top Chef. Many years ago my great-great-grandfather came to Sacramento and he founded an information empire. He left his legacy here and it's gone on for six generations. I just really felt that Fred and I needed to leave an imprint somewhere and this was the place we wanted to do that. And I think our students are the future and if we take care of them, they'll take care of us later on. And to give them the opportunity to have a wonderful learning environment where they're working with real life tools, it gives them an opportunity to grow and to be able to transition and to segue right into a job and it gives them a wonderful opportunity. You bet. We look at these as our children and these, all these success stories that come out of here are, are empowering to us and, and just kind of say, was this worth it? You bet.